So this is just a small test flight of the newest update that we got for the DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro. And uh, this was a major update that was released by DJI this morning. And uh, it was both a new firmware for the drone as well as uh, a new update for the RC controller. The biggest uh, update with that one was uh, the capability of supporting uh, the Air 2S. But uh, installing the firmware on uh, the Mini 3 Pro, that provided us with some additional features as well, which we are going to test out in this video. So I just thought that I would go here to this magnificent place and then uh, let's just simply go through uh, them one by one. The first one is uh, the added support for the FAA remote ID requirements for the United States. So that one we would not be able to test out here today because this is not uh, applying to us as we are in Europe. Look at this castle, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so one of the first things that we can try here is that it have added support for master shots in portrait mode. So let's just try and enable that one and see what happens. So we can basically see we are not allowed to fly over the castle. So let's go away with this and then we just mark the castle here. And then we press start. And then it takes around two minutes here. So we press start. And then it will execute uh, the master shots. I will of course make sure that I'm uh, yeah, putting the final result that we are getting out of this uh, yeah, on top of this video. So the whole idea with master shots is that it's basically using the quick shots of the drone and then it combines all these shots into, yeah, you can use different templates and uh, then you can make a video that looks really cool, that's much shorter than uh, what the drone is actually doing here. <laughs> the vertical or the horizontal, ah, not the horizontal, the vertical format of the video that's become quite popular with the TikTok and uh, Instagram uh, reels and also with the yeah, my, us, ooh, with YouTube shorts. You need to be careful here that it doesn't go over the castle. We are not allowed to do that as it is. And I can just open up the map here so I can see what it's actually doing. <laughs> and that way I can make sure that it doesn't do what I don't want it to do. 69%, 70%, 70% complete. And this is um, uh, the castle of Hamlet. It's a uh, Kronborg. It's located in uh, Elsinger. That is uh, in the northern part of uh, Sealand. It's a very, very beautiful place. And normally this is a very Wi-Fi polluted place, so it's uh, <laughs> it has now completed the master shots, and then it's returning to the place where it took off. So now that one is done, so we can switch it back here and out of master shots. And hopefully by now you have seen the result that I have compiled out of these clips that they was recorded there. So let's just fly it a little bit closer here and we can look at some of the other stuff that is available uh, through this update. So the other thing that is available is there's a priority for ISO and shutter when switching the drone into pro mode. So when I put it in here and I press this tab here, I can simply have... So what, what I can basically do here is that I have these auto auto options. I can take the ISO out of the auto option and then I can keep it at 100. That means that it will get priority over the shutter speed. So the shutter speed will basically now, hopefully, be adjusted when I fly around. 
So you can see now it's compensating to make sure that I have sufficient amount of light here. It makes sure that uh, it compensates uh, with the shutter speed uh, to be able to do that. And I can basically do it the other way around, like this. So, in this way. You see, if I want to keep the shutter at a certain uh, value, maybe I want to keep it at 1 over 60, like this. Then the drone makes sure to compensate on the ISO value, so I get neutral exposure of the footage. It might be a little bit overexposed here for this example. Oh, let's just start it here. So. Put, take it off here so you can see what's going on here. So when I fly around here, you can see now it's adjusting the ISO. If I pull it up here, I'll probably lower it to 100, which is the lowest one. And of course, there's a lower limit, and that is 100. You can't go below that. So priority for ISO and shutter, that's a very, very nice addition in this new update. There's a possibility to adjust the style for the video. And if I go under camera here and I scroll down to this position, that's called style. If I open that, I have the chance to adjust sort of different key parameters, the sharpness of the footage, so I can digital sharpen it uh, when I'm here. So let's just record some video here so we can see the difference. So that was over sharpening by two, that's zero. This is basically softening it by minus two. So I have that option. I can also reduce noise. So if I move the noise reduction completely down, I guess that's most predominant when uh, we are talking under under yeah, darker conditions where we often get a lot of noise in the image or especially when you're using higher ISO values you will get noise in the image and if I put this up to the max to one I don't know if you can see any difference uh, there's not that much noise in the image as it is uh, right now so let's just put it back to what it was. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Probably up here, zero, like that. So you have this option, the style option, to reduce or change the sharpness of the footage as well as do some noise compensation. There's uh, also support for uh, using the wide angle lens. Uh, I can't find any specific settings for that, so I guess maybe that's auto registered. Maybe you know where I can find that. <laughs> but at least looking through the menus, it doesn't seem like uh, there is uh, any setting for that. I would have maybe expected it would have been under safety. Um, under not the battery info, but the, uh, the advanced safety settings that you might be able to do a set it here. But I can't seem to find a setting for that. So if you know that, then let me know in the comments below. Finally they, have described, finally, they are describing something about added features that also requires the DJI Fly App 178 or later. And uh, just to uh, make sure that uh, we're on the same page here, let's just jump onto the settings page here. Whoops, like this. And I can show you that I have installed 178. The RC firmware is 01020000 and the aircraft firmware is 01000400, which was the update that we, uh, yeah, that became available this morning. This was just a test flight in some beautiful surroundings. I'm Henrik Olsen, and if you find value in content like this, then consider subscribing to the channel. Or simply giving the video a like. If you didn't like the video, then feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.